Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Sped here and welcome to Riffs on the Radio episode number three. Today we are going to look at a really cool tune by a band called Gengar and it's called Heavenly Maybe. I was going to do it last month but when the Strokes dropped that new tune Bad Decisions I really wanted to get on it so I thought it can wait and I'll put it out this month. So it's a really spiky guitar riff, um, got loads of chorus on it, very King Crimson-esque. And it really reminds me of all, all the stuff I used to do with my old band. Um, interestingly, it was produced by um, Jack Steadman from Bombay Bicycle Club. So, makes sense. It's a banging tune. Um, if you don't know either Gengar or Bombay, I heavily suggest you go check them out. Don't forget the tabs for this are on my Patreon. And even though we're not going to cover the bass guitar today, I have stuck that on the PDF as well. <laughs> Here's the first part we're going to learn. So the first shape is an A minor chord, but moved up to the fifth and the sixth frets, position of C sharp minor, and we're going to pick D, G, B in order, down, down, up with that rhythm. So in order to get that snappy staccato sound, I'm using a mixture of left and right hand dampening. So I release the pressure over here when I'm not playing a note and sometimes bring my hand in a little bit and it just keeps it really tidy. And because it's such a quick riff, you'll find that fiddly at first, but it's such a useful thing to get down. So once you've got to the top, we're then going to go back down. G then D and I go up, down. So I'm always kind of picking the direction that I'm traveling next. After that, it literally goes back up and down. Um, exactly the same notes, but it's just the rhythm that's different. So the first time going up and down, this is the rhythm. And the second time, this is the rhythm. It just goes straight up and down. And you repeat the top note, and there's a little pause. And my picking is the same, down, down, up, 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 down. You can see I'm gripping and releasing the pressure here to keep it tidy. Here's the second one we're going to learn. So for the second shape, all we need to do is change this note, the second finger, down to fret four. So we're going to play that with the index. Then you can keep these two notes the same, but finger changed the third and the second finger. And then the rhythm is identical. Same strings, pick the same way. Then you can put the first and the second one together and um, gradually build up the speed. Nice one for checking out this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Short but sweet. I consider it to be a really useful exercise though. You're learning about really quick, snappy um, left and right hand dampening, which keeps things very tidy. And um, you know, string skipping, alternate picking at speed is difficult. And I spent maybe like 10, 12 years um, literally doing just that with the band that I was in. So, I like to think I'm all right at it. It's the kind of crossover between classic rock and um, prog. Guess it's why I'm a bit of a weirdo. So yeah, the world's a bit mad at the moment, isn't it, with all this coronavirus stuff that's going on. I'm assuming quite a lot of you will be um, working from home, maybe off school, depending on how old you are. But yeah, I appreciate all the support. Don't forget that that competition to win 
This pedal to celebrate going over 20,000 subscribers is still live. I'm going to link it at the end of the video. Tabs are on my Patreon as always. And yeah, look after yourselves, guys. Keep away from each other and keep close to your guitar. Wash your hands before and after and have fun. See you soon. Peace. Thank <music> you.